Back in Syracuse as the Crunch gets set for the Rochester Americans. Middle game of this 3-3 three and three weekend for the Crunch and the third game here this week for Syracuse. On Countdown to Crunch Time presented by Supercuts, I'm Lucas Favalli with Crunch goaltending and video coach Carl Gehring. Carl, last night the Crunch uh, had a very solid performance once again. Second consecutive shutout. It was a 4-0 win against the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. What did you think of the game last night for the Crunch? You know, another great team performance by our guys. Um, you know, came out, I thought we had a good jump right away in the first five minutes and then... Uh, you know, just kept it going through the whole game and, and really impressed with our third period. Um, really thought we didn't give them any opportunities to get back in the game there after we established a lead. So, um, you know, something that's going to be critical for us to do going and in the playoffs here. Yeah, we have seen such a solid defensive effort. And you said the team effort, especially the last two games, back-to-back -back shutouts, 4 nothing in Binghamton on Tuesday. Same thing last night. Why do you think this team is uh, playing so well defensively right now? You know, I, I think guys are just buying in. Um, guys are buying into what we're asking them to do strong structure wise and uh, you know then it comes down to compete um, and, and it's really been impressive to see our guys uh, forwards D goalies everybody uh, doing their part and we know how important that compete is we hear that all the time and that's something that you know we, when we hear that that's going well the crunch are doing well so why is that so important you know I think it's really any sport right like uh, you hope to have a structure and you hope to have good things in place but at the end of the day um, you know the one-on-one -on -one battles become huge on the ice and um, if guys know if they win those battles it's going to be a huge key for our success and um, really it's it's a simple thing for guys to focus on and last night the crunch of the four nothing win against the lehigh valley phantoms heading into the game we heard a lot about at the phantom speed and their skill they've got a really strong lineup over there how are the crunch able to to match that and and negate it a bit yeah i, I think being aware of their lineup and then uh knowing that you know we've got we've got good speed as well too to uh to counter that so um you know we we know and respect our opponents but we also know it's so critical to play our game, play fast, and uh, you know, hopefully execute to the best that we can. Crunch coming in with a 4 nothing victory last night against the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Obviously, we can't mention the game without mentioning the goalie, Eddie Pasquale, who is once again very good. His third shutout of the season. Uh, his game has continued to, to get better and better here over the last month, month and a half. What did you think of Eddie's game last night? You know, Eddie was solid. Um, and, and again, Eddie's such a great pro. Uh, you know, Every day he shows up to work and uh, is always trying to find ways for, it, for himself to improve. Um, and being a good teammate. So, um, you know, fun to see him get rewarded last night, and uh, it's always exciting for the goalie coach. Yeah, you have seen a lot of it. It's now 10 shutouts on the season for the Crunch, and, and uh, we after the game, Ben Grew was raving about, you know, the work ethic, like you just said, of Eddie Pasquale. He comes in, and, and he's here first guy usually in the morning, and, and he is just such a hard worker. How how does that rub off on, on the rest of the team and, and as the guys are playing in front of him, too? Yeah, I, I think when guys see it, they want to work for him, too, right? Um, and, and it sets a great example for for everybody in the room and and to me it's contagious right if, if you're working hard everybody's going to want to do the same thing too and um, so that, that's been great to have Eddie as a part of our group here and uh, to kind of set that example and lead the way here. At Crunch are getting set for the Rochester Americans here on this Saturday night it's the middle game of a three and three weekend on Countdown to Crunch Time presented by Supercuts with Crunch Gold Tank and video coach Carl Gehring. It is the middle game of a three and three weekend it is a hectic stretch of the year now 16 games in March we've kind of talked a bit about it leading into this so how how does this three and three weekend go for the crunch now in the middle game here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we, we've been playing a lot of hockey here as, as of late, so uh, no surprise for us here. Um, you know, really we want to focus on today, play our game, uh, not worry about tomorrow yet. And, uh, you know, we, we know we're going to schedule in our rest when we need it here. So uh, come out, play fast like we can, and, and know we've got a, a great game ahead of us in Rochester. They're going to test us, and they've got a great team, obviously. So um, it's a good test for us to execute like we can and uh, you know stick to tonight and you certainly can lead on the leaders to, to help in that as well and, and last night the leaders of course getting the, all, the production for the crunch Andy Andreoff is two goals last night over 20 on the year the crunch are the first and only team right now with three 20 goal scores Carter Verhage and Alex Barry are the other ones Carter scored a goal Corey Conacher's at 19 he scored a goal just the leadership and, and the offensive ability from the guys up front how, how impressive is that yeah it's uh, it, it's been great all year and, and from the goalie standpoint it's always nice to have a lot of run support to work with there so um, you know again uh, we're so fortunate to have those guys and uh, they can make plays and execute like they can and uh, goal scoring is not an easy thing to do so to have guys that can finish and uh, not only that just how they play though um, just how persistent they are on the ice they're always on it they're always around it and uh, you know I think that's a big part of their and our success and you mentioned the third period of the crunch 
played last night that obviously wears the you know, opponent down the way they play as well. Tonight it is the Rochester Americans. It is uh, the first of a home and home series, the second time in just a couple weeks at the Crunch and the Amherst are playing a home and home series. It's a big matchup. The teams are tied for first place in the division. They have a, they obviously present a lot of challenges for a lot of teams in the league. What challenges do they present tonight? You know, they, 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 they've got a really good lineup uh, for starters. They're, uh, you know, goaltending on out. Uh, they, they've got uh, good goaltending, good defense, and they've got some skill that can make some plays here. They're physical. Um, so we know what to expect with them, um, and uh, we know it's going to be a good game. Yeah, for sure it is. The Crunch of the Amherst, it is the eighth matchup of the season series, 12 times in total for the teams. And, again, last night, I mean, as a goalie, Eddie Pasquale, the, they're chanting his name at the end, Eddie, Eddie. What is that like for you as a former goalie to, to here, you know, the, the crowd saluting him with, with another shutout last night. You know, again, it's awesome how our fans get behind it here, and uh, but but even fun for the goaltenders too. <laughs> that's uh, that's a pretty special thing uh, when everybody's uh, appreciative of your work there. So pretty fun to see. All right, we'll see what happens here tonight as the Crunch take on the Rochester Americans. This is Crunch goaltending and video coach Carl Garing. Carl, thanks for your time and good luck tonight. All right, thanks, Lucas.